Today we will be discussing about top secrets to solve your reading and writing fill in the blanks. After this video you will be able to solve within 2 minutes all the blanks and you will be able to get them correct. I will be discussing top 9 secrets which is going to help you to easen up reading and writing fill in the blanks and you can use them also for reading fill in the blanks. I will be firstly talking about the grammar portion, the shortcuts for the grammar. I will be also mentioning about the collocations. If you know about the collocations you can easily solve the blanks without even reading them. And I'll be also mentioning about time management, how to read between the lines. Now, there are a lot of students who just try to read entire passage and end up losing the time. I'll be explaining you how you can read between the lines and only reading meaningful words and important words, you can get the entire message of the passage. There are other things also which I'll be mentioning. So stay tuned till the very end. But yes, before you do that, make sure you have subscribed. And if you're new to PTE, make sure that you have checked our beginner courses which we have uploaded on our channel. They're going to give you a glimpse of how to attempt PTE as a beginner. And guys, if you're really struggling in any of the PTE topics, make sure that you put it in the comment sections. I personally read all the comments and I'll try to make sure that I reply all of them. And if there's any topic you want me to make video on which is disturbing you, which is giving you nightmares, I'm going to help you and will go in depth so that it is easy enough for you. So make sure do comment and I'll be replying each one of you. Hello everyone, let's get started. So the very first thing we will be looking is how to read between the lines. Sometimes you get very lengthy passages and you're not really sure how to read the entire passage within the time frame and get the answers correct. So over here we have to skim the passage. That means we do not have to read every single word. We only have to focus on important meaningful words. So let's say if this is the question, we will not focus on as though we will focus on new year begins. Then we'll be focusing on popular electric vehicles, then Tesla general models, then eligible for 75 what tax credits and they were not eligible in 2022. Now on the other hand when students try to read the entire sentence and they go in depth that's how they lose the time and that's how they are not able to manage their time effective. Now let's do skimming for the entire paragraph so that would make much more sense to each one of you. Because limitations on tax credits in August as part of inflation cannot be put in force. Treasury, this department announced this week. This means the rules temporarily general, generous then allowing higher tax credits on these vehicles and then for the first few months then essentially the tax rules are designed to dash automakers to make electric vehicles all part of vehicles as much as possible in the United States or in countries they have agreements. Also they designed this one um, so that they don't go to wealthy Americans buying expensive luxury vehicles. The latest announcement which will temporarily open up more tax credit money is going good for consumers. Now it took less time for us to read it because we were focusing only on the main verbs. We were not focusing on the words which are not very important for us to get the meaning from the passage. So this is called skimming which a lot of students misses out. So when there is a lot of gap between one blank to another blank, make sure that you guys do this so that it is easier for you guys, right, to understand it properly and to do it faster. That is number one secret which a lot of students misses out for their reading and writing fill in the blanks. The second secret I would want to share with you guys is prediction method. So what we do in this particular method is that we try to predict the answer before actually opening up the options. So you have to read the sentence before the blank and then you have to read the sentence at least a couple of words after the blank and then you have to predict it, guess what the option could be and then you would open up the options and choose the right one. So let me show you. As the new year begins, a dash of popular electric vehicles, specifically some Tesla and General Motor models could be eligible for this much worth of tax credits. As the new year begins, a dash of popular electric vehicles, a range of popular electric vehicles. Once we have predicted it, the next thing is going to be to open up these options. Now we have these four options, population, category, figure, number. Now our prediction was range. That means a range of popular. That means we have prediction. Now we have to match that prediction with 
these options and then we can get the closer one as per the prediction. A population, as we predicted, it's a range. Population does not make sense. Category means different types of. We are not talking about the types. Figure, over here we are not talking about certain figure because we don't have any quantitative data. Number, yes, number of popular electric vehicles. So this is what we're going to pick because that is the closest one to your prediction, which is range. So we click over here as a number. Now, every time when you make a prediction, try to get the closer one to your prediction because every single time you will get confused if you do not make a prediction. Normally, students get confused in one or the two options and they end up selecting the wrong one. Why? Because they only read the first half of the sentence and they misses out the last couple of words sometimes which are very important to make a right choice. So my suggestion to each one of you would be to read first couple of words and then read the second sentence after the blank. At least I would say five to six words until it makes sense to you. Then predict what the answer could be and then pick up the right option. The next secret which I want to share with you guys is the elimination method. Elimination method goes hand in hand with the prediction method. So what you have to do is once you have made a prediction over here, then you have to see which options are not the right one and you have to eliminate them. Let me show you how you have to use this method. So we will try to read first couple of words before the blank and couple of words after the blank and then we'll try to eliminate the wrong options first. So that's because limitation on new text credits dash in August as part of the reduction act, it won't be put into force at all. So they're saying because of the limitations which might have got implemented, which might have got launched. So that's the prediction, but let's open up the blanks now. Abstracted, attracted, redacted, and enacted. Now, elimination method, we will be eliminating first two options, which we think are definitely not the right one. Abstracted means uh, concepts. Obviously, it is not the right answer. Attracted, that means it attracted new limitations, but no, our guess was that it regulated, it implemented. Redacted means, obviously we can eliminate this also, that means to remove something. The last one is enacted. That means it acted, enacted, started something which is actually matching with your prediction which you made. But also along with that, we eliminated the other three and that's how the elimination method works. So you try to at least eliminate two which you think definitely are not going to come, you'll be left with two or sometimes you will only left with one. In this case, only one. Elimination method is not only basis of vocabulary. It is also on the basis of grammar as well. Sometimes there are tenses which will help you to make a choice, right? And which tense they are talking about, which tense they are using. That way you would be able to make a choice, which we'll be talking soon about the grammar shortcuts. But you also have to understand it can be on the basis of collocations as well. We'll be talking about the collocations as well as a part of next secret for reading and writing fill in the blanks. But elimination method is very helpful for a lot of students. Eliminate two to three options and you'll be left with the right answer. And make sure that you eliminate on the basis of vocabulary or on the basis of collocations. Now we have mentioned about the collocations. What are collocations guys? Collocation means the words which goes together. So sometimes you don't even need to read the entire paragraph. Even if you have the collocations, you can get the answers right. Sometimes some words always goes together. Okay. So as you can see, these words will always go together. Okay. So it doesn't matter even if they come in the middle of the paragraph or at the start. If these are together, they will always be together. So that means without even looking at the entire paragraph, just making sure that you fit all the collocations together, you can get the answers correct. Now, sometimes we say a phrase, what's on your mind? We never say what's on your brain, right? Because this is how the native English speaker speaks. So this is what collocation is all about. Some words will always go together with the other words, such as lump sum. Now, this is very important that you guys understand collocations. 
and I have mentioned the list in front of you. These are some of the important collocations. By using collocations, you can get marks in a very easier manner and you would be able to get better marks in reading and writing fill in the blanks. So work on your collocation and I will put in the description one link where you can get all the collocations for PDE. Let's talk about some grammar rules. There are a lot of grammar shortcuts out there which will help you to get better with your reading and writing fill in the blanks. Whenever there is an article guys before a blank such as a, an or the, the answer is always going to be a noun. Okay. So this is very important grammar rule which is going to help you in the blanks. So for example, me and my dad went to a dash to watch a movie, went to a theater, went to a mall. Okay. But over here we have an article over here and then there is a blank over here and then the blank over here is always going to be a noun because there's an article before the blank. So whenever you get any article, it's always going to be a noun over here. Okay. You have to make sure that whenever you're practicing your reading, you understand the difference between a noun, between adjective, between verb and between adverb. So that's why I'm going to quickly, briefly explain each one of them to you guys so that you guys understand the rules of grammar as well, which are based on them. Okay, let's talk about the basic rules which will help you guys to get better marks in your reading blanks and reading and writing blanks, right, for PTE. Now, let's quickly talk about parts of speech. Nouns. What are nouns? Nouns are the words which are used for things, like for places, for people, for feelings, for concepts, okay? Nouns can be singular also, plural also. So, whenever we talk about nouns, you also have to think that noun is particular word, think place it can be a person it can be about feelings or concepts okay it's very important that you understand the actual meaning of noun okay. there can be proper nouns they can be common nouns they can be uncountable nouns okay so that is firstly how what we call a noun let's talk about adjectives adjectives are those words that describes the nouns okay so such as a word which is actually describing about the situation about the perception of a noun such as in this particular case we have taken example of uh, adjective which is beautiful a beautiful flower flower is a noun okay but beautiful is the adjective large heart large house large is going to be adjective house is going to be a noun okay so the thing which explain the noun further that's what we call the adjective. Verbs are the things which are considered as activities. Okay. When you're doing something, when you're eating, when you're laughing, when you're running. Okay. So it is very important that when you are doing something, it is always considered as a verb. Okay. But on the other hand, adverbs are the words which describe verbs. Okay. Such as quickly fastly slowly okay so you're running running is an activity but you if you're doing it slowly that is an adverb okay you are running quickly that is going to be again an adverb all right so make sure that you understand this distinction okay rule number two says if the blank is placed between an article and a noun then the answer will always be an adjective now, what was adjective? Adjective are those words which describes the noun. Okay. So, if there is an article and there is a noun and there is a blank in between that particular article and noun, it's going to be always adjective and that adjective would be describing the noun. So, let's say Sydney is a huge city. Sydney is a beautiful city. Okay. So, these are some of the grammar rules which you have seen which are the grammar shortcuts which are very useful to solve your reading and writing fill in the blanks. Make sure that you are well versed with every single rule and because they're going to help you to crack your reading blanks much faster. And at the end of the video, I'll be also giving you an in-depth link where you can find all the important grammar rules, which will help you to solve reading and writing fill in the blanks faster. Vocabulary can also play a very important role because without proper vocab knowledge, students actually do not know the meaning of the options and they end up 
getting the wrong options. So what we have done is when you're practicing, you're reading and writing fill in the blanks. And let's say you selected one of the blank incorrectly and you submitted it. And over here, you will get an option to add that particular word into your vocabulary. This way, whatever words you don't know, automatically they will keep coming in your vocab list over here. So vocab list is very helpful because you don't have to make your own vocab list. This tracker over here is going to track all the mistakes you are making. And it's also going to give you an explanation which will help you to improve your vocabulary on the go. Vocabulary is very important for reading and writing fill in the blanks. And even for your reading fill in the blanks, basic vocabulary you need to know. But sometimes students do not know the exact meanings. They get confused, right? So use this tool, guys, when you're making a mistake, make sure that you add it into your vocab list. And in the vocab list, it will be saved over here. And over here, you guys can practice from here and improve from here. This is very important tip for your reading and writing fill in the blanks and for your reading blank. Because at the end of the day, you need to perform well in your vocabulary as well. And this is the secret which a lot of students misses out and they do not work towards vocabulary. They end up writing all the options, even the options where they are doing fine and they end up wasting time. With this tracker, you will not waste your time because it will automatically record your mistakes and give you the meanings for them. Let's talk about the next secret. In reading and writing pen in the blank, students normally misses out the clues. Clues are given sometimes one sentence prior to the blank or one sentence after the blank. That's why we always tell students to read one sentence before and at least some words after the blank so that they can get the entire message and can figure out a clue. Now, for example, if we talk about this sentence, essentially the text rules are designed to dash automakers to make the electric vehicles and all the parts of those vehicles as much as possible in the United States or in countries with which the US has trade agreements. That means these text rules are motivating automakers, kind of pushing automakers to make more vehicles over here. But if you do not read this sentence and the clue is what? Clue is to make the electric vehicles in this country. That means these are the clues which will help you to decide which option is going to come over here. These clues are normally given after the sentence or before the sentence as I mentioned. Now, the guess from here would be motivating. Now, if you look at the options, all the options over here, right, would help you to decide that motivating means incentivizes and over here restrain, intimidate, civilize are not going to be the right fit. And automatically you will get one more correct answer. That means one more mark in your PD exam, correct for your writing and for your reading. So try to find clues, guys. Try to get that particular hint, which is going to help you to make a right decision. Students try to rush it up. Student tries to make a mistake and they try to just ignore the clues. Sometimes they just read half sentence. So these are the things which you need to keep in mind when you're finding the clue. Try to find something which is related to the option and which is helping you to make a decision. The next secret is very important, time management. Students spend sometimes a lot of time on reading and writing fill in the blanks and they do not get enough time for reading blanks. So my advice is spend somewhere around two to three minutes per question, depending on question to question. And do not spend a lot of time on multiple choice questions because that will not give you enough marks to score your desired band. So that means after finishing up with your reading and writing fill in the blanks, you have to straight away go to reorder paragraph where you need to spend about two minutes per question so that you have enough time left for your reading fill in the blanks. And even for reading and writing fill in the blanks, do not spend more than three minutes per question on average because at the end you also have to have time for reading fill in the blank. Time management plays very crucial role and the very first secret which I shared with you guys was skimming. Now that plays very important role in managing the time effectively. Make sure that you do not read every single word. Read only meaningful words. Try to skim and try to make a decision with all the predictions, elimination methods, clues, grammar shortcuts, 
so that you can manage your time effectively and get the accurate answers within three minutes. And normally students fail to do that. That's the reason they end up losing their marks in the reading section because they don't normally get enough time for reading fill in the blanks. But you make sure that you do not make that mistake, guys, and follow the time management tip which I have just given you. The final secret which I want to share with you guys is avoid self-doubting yourself. When you read the blank, sometimes the first intuition you make is the correct one. But we just self-doubt ourselves and then we end up selecting the wrong answer. So my suggestion is do not self-doubt. Try to get the one which you selected in the initial go because most of the time that's the correct answer. And moreover, make sure that you make a choice on the basis of all the secrets which I have just discussed with you. Most of the time, students keep on self-doubting themselves and end up losing marks, end up making more mistakes. Make sure that you do not make that mistake and get the right answer with all the secretive tips which I have just shared with you guys. If you watched all the nine top secrets, that means now you have that knowledge which is going to help you to solve the blanks like a pro. So use them, implement them, but for practice, go to visionlanguageexperts.com.au. Over there, you can access thousands of questions for free and these questions have high chances of coming in the exam. So that means these are really exam prediction material, which is free of course for you guys. What do you have to do? Just go and sign up. You will get an OTP and sometimes OTP comes into the spam folder. Just fill in the OTP and fill in your details and you will get full access to reading section from a portal free of cost. Now guys, if you are new to our channel, please make sure to subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like the video. Now this was very valuable video for all the students struggling in reading. But yes, if you need more insight for the reading grammar rules, then I recommend you to watch this video, which is going to help you to get better with your grammar, especially for PD reading. Thank you, Vishal is signing off from VLE. I'll see you next time. Oh, well.